What's up, boils and ghouls and ghosts? <laughs> to a very special cereal tasting video for the brand new Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal. That's right. I know many of you are after this, and it has not been easy to locate it and get one in my hands. Fortunately, someone sent me a box. Those of you still looking, keep trying. Keep, keep trying. Walmart app, scan the UPC in, and keep looking. But some people are finding them, and to those of you that have, be thankful. I am super excited, much like every other Ghostbuster fan, or rather, every Ghostbuster fan that grew up in the 80s and early 90s. Because there was a thing that we were able to eat on Saturday mornings while we watched the real Ghostbusters. Late at night while we watched Ghostbusters 2 on VHS, followed by the original. We had Ghostbusters cereal. That's right, the original Ghostbusters cereal. There were two versions, one with just the regular Ghost No logo, and there was one that had Slimer on it. Ah, oh, the memory. Soak in that nostalgia. But here we have the brand new version of the cereal out for the release of the new Ghostbusters movie this year. Even though I do a movie podcast, uh, please don't ask me when the date is when the new movie is going to be released because I can't remember because they've moved it so many times. But we're not here to talk about the movie. We're here to talk about the nostalgia and the product, the cereal. Now, I know a lot of other people are like, yeah, the cereal was fine, everything. Where is my Ecto Cooler? Listen, the 2016 movie gave us the Ecto Cooler. I've got a tons of it in my closet. If you want a box of it, just send me an email or something. I'll ship you one. But for now, we're gonna take a look at the box. As you can see, we have the original classic Ghostbusters logo on the front. We have the enlarged to show detail of the cereal here with ghosts traditional white ghosts, and this little blue shape here, many people are going to question, what is that one? Well, that is Muncher. That is the brand new cute ghost uh, that is set up to be an afterlife. We've seen an image of this ghost. He looks pretty awesome. Uh, and these right here on the side of the box are the mini Stay Puffed. And anyone that watched that newly released clip with Paul Rudd while he's in the convenience store, um, yeah, he sees little mini Stay Puffs, they're adorable. The back has a bunch of games with mini Stay Puffs on them and munchers on the bottom, so they got everything you want on the box. I'm pretty happy with the box design. They have the classic logo, you just can't beat that. And obviously it's an homage to the original Ghostbusters cereal, which was also black in its color and also had the original logo on it with the image of the cereal underneath. But all that aside, we're here to taste the stuff. That's what's most exciting. So we're gonna dig into this. As you can see, I have my black bowl to match the box. thing we call milk that I never drink. Liquid of your choice. Now usually when I eat cereal, I let the cereal get a little soggy. I know, you can hate me all you want, but I'm that guy, you should let it sit for a few minutes. But we don't have that convenience now, so I'm gonna dig in. For those of you asking, uh, it's been almost 30 years since I've tasted the original cereal, so whether it tastes that close to the original, I'm going to try to remember it the best of my ability. Here it goes. Okay. Let's have another. Well, if I'm being correct here, it's fruity flavored sweetened corn puffs with marshmallows and other natural flavors. 
which is pretty much exactly what the original cereal was. Now, the original cereal did not have red circular shapes. They were the No Ghost logo, just the red logo with the white marshmallows. And I mean, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much a modern version. If you want to know what, you know, 35 year old cereal tastes like, check out Dinosaur Dracula. I'm sure he's probably eaten a box, but it tastes pretty good. I'm not a cereal guy, uh, other than gimmick cereals and seasonal stuff like Halloween Crunch, Christmas Crunch, whatever fits into my diet plan, but I would definitely eat the whole entire box. I think it's worth the wait. I think every Ghostbusters fan should probably grab a box, not just for the sake of nostalgia, but yeah, give it a go. Your kids are probably gonna love it, and they'll get to say they also got to have Ghostbusters cereal while they watched the movies in front of them. So, worth the wait. Good product. It doesn't taste like crap. It doesn't taste like cardboard. Solid, sweet, sugary kid cereal with ghosts and muncher. So, I'm going to give it an A+. I mean, it's a Ghostbuster cereal. It's promoting the new movie, which I can't wait to see. And it's something that we just love from our childhood. So, try it out if you can get your hands on it. Like I said, Walmart is the largest retailer currently carrying it, and that's the way to go. So thanks for watching the video. Try some Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal. And until next time, I'm going to eat the rest of this bowl, baby.